So, today we're going to talk about parabolas. We're going to talk about parabolas with the focus and its directrix, okay? So, I'm just going to draw a little picture, okay? Draw a little picture, and I want to draw in a parabola, okay? And I'm going to put a little dot right here called the focus. And the focus really is the focal point, right? The focus is really like the focal point is where we focus in to get everything to center. So it's really like a focal point. The directrix is a line. The directrix is a line that's on the other side. It's opposite side of the focus, okay? The directrix has to be, Cody, you ready? The directrix must be equal distance. The way we're going to do this today is by graphing. Now, there is in pre-calculus, we'll go through a whole lot more on this, but today in this class, because it's geometry, not pre-calc, the way we're going to get these things is just by graphing it. So the directrix, see the distance here? Check it out. See the distance here from the parabola to the focus. Everybody watching? Yes. It's just the equal distance from the vertex to the directrix. Okay? So now this distance here has to be equal. Has to be equal. So the distance from here to here is equal to here to here. Okay? Now we call this distance P. P is this distance here, and this distance here is P, all right? We just call it P. Whatever P may be, might be 3, might be 5, might be 10, but the distance here has to equal the distance here. So the distance from the vertex to the focus is always equal, just like Fiju. The distance from the focus to the vertex is always equal to the vertex to the directrix. Yes, Bijou. It, it's going to be both, and we're going to take a look at it, okay? Yeah, we're going to be both, okay? So, one more time. So, I want to write this down, okay? I want you to write this down somewhere. The, write this down, the distance, write this down, Shh, the distance from the vertex to the focus is equal to to the vertex to the directrix. Okay, that is the big key. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to highlight that. Okay, highlight that. Highlight that so you guys can see it. Okay? Okay? The distance from the vertex of the focus is equal to the vertex of the focus. And that's true as we move along the curve because we've also seen in, the, in our video that the distances are equal all the way around. The distance from here to here would be equal to here to here. The distance from here to here would be equal to here to here. The distance from here to here would be equal to here to here. Okay, the distance from the directrix to the parabola is always going to be equal to from the parabola to the focus. Okay, now, P is that distance. P is that distance. Okay, so now let's take a look. Here's our equation. Okay, here's our equation. So our, direct, our equation of a smiley face. Okay, now smiley face is going to be y equals 1 over 4p x squared. Okay, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, now we're also going to have, yep, we're also going to have upside down ones. Okay, just a second, just a second, let me, one thing at a time. So now if it's upside down, the only difference here is that we're going to have y equals a negative 1 over 4px squared. Okay, see the difference? This one's a frowny face. See the difference. This one's a smiley face, okay? One's negative, one's positive. Right, does that make sense? Ne it just totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. If it's frowny face, this is negative, but we're still the same concept. The distance from the vertex is equal to the directrix as distance from the vertex to the focus, okay? Now, if we did, and keep in mind, Stop talking. If we did sideways parabolas, and we have not done sideways parabolas because they're not functions, right? That's not a function. But we can do a sideways parabola. The difference is it's an x equals 
and the y squared is there. Boys, stop talking. So if it's a sideways parabola, it's got to be an x equal equation. I'll say it again. Listen. If it's a sideways parabola, it's an x equal equation it's and the y squared there. And then the only difference here, if it's sideways backwards, is be x equals a negative 1 over 4 p y squared. That's the only difference if it's backwards, okay? This one faces forward, so it's positive. This one faces back, so it's negative, okay? It looks like a bow and arrow. Look at that. Now, we're going to we're going to do some of these on the next page, okay? So this is our key. These equations are going to help us, all right? Okay, ready to turn the page? I'm ready to turn the page. All right. All right, so let's go straight to number three, okay? What I want to do first is let's go right to six. We're going to do number six first, okay? Let's go to number six. Now listen. If I look at the graph of number six, right, the first thing I want to do is this. The value of P. P is equal to, watch, P is equal to one, two, three, four. Four, five. P is five. Do you see that? P, <coughs> P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. One, two, three, four, five. Got it? So then my equation, which we just learned, is got to be y equals one over four p x squared. Okay, that's the equation we just learned on the prior page. Okay, and it is a smiley face, so it's going to be positive 1, right? So my equation is just going to be y equals 1 over 4 times 5 x squared, because p is 5, right? p is 5, p is that distance. So my equation is as simple as this, y equals 1 over 20 x squared. That's my equation of that graph. So you have to find p first. Yes, Celeste? Uh, it's in the equation. Let me flip, flip the page. Great question. Four is always there. Always there. Does that make sense? Good question. And then I found P by that distance, right? Yeah, Price? Why are all these ones one-fourth? Like, why are they so One. Out? Okay, one-fourth is the equation, but I can show you that in pre-calc why it's a four, okay? We'll go into why in pre-calc why it's a four, okay? Now, the distance from here to here and here to here is always going to be the 4p. And we'll get into that in pre-calc. Now check this next one out, okay? This one's a sideways parallel, right? So this one's got to be an x equals a 1 over 4p y squared, okay? This one is sideways. If it's a sideways parallel, it's got to be uh, one of these, okay? Use that form right there, okay? It's a sideways parabola. What is P? P has got to be negative 7 twelfths. How do I know that? It shows me that the distance from here to here is negative 7 twelfths. Okay, so P is negative 7 twelfths. That's P, okay? That's P. And I got it just by looking at the distance from the vertex to the directrix is that distance. Now, let's plug it in. So if x equals... 1 over 4 times 7 twelfths. No, it's actually a distance, so it's positive y squared. i got to make a correction. It is positive because it's just a distance. And it's not going backwards. It's got to be positive. Okay? Now, that's kind of a mess, right? That's kind of a mess. So i got to do a little fraction work. I can do some fraction work. I'm going to do some fraction work down here. You guys might have to do a little fraction work down here. Let's see if we remember how to do fractions. I remember how to do fractions. So what is 1, a little fraction work, what is 1 over, I don't have a 28 twelfths, 28 twelfths, okay, a little fraction work, that's the same thing as 12 28ths, a little fraction work, because I flipped the fraction. If I reduce both by 4, I get 3 sevenths, okay. So I'm going to have x equals 3 sevenths y squared. Okay, a little fraction work, okay? Let's look at 8. Let's look at 8, okay? Okay, guys, ready? So 8. 
It's upside down, right? It's upside down. It's going to be this one here. Okay, it's going to be this one here, right? So let's write that one down. We're going to have a y. Let me make room for it. I'm going to have a y equals a negative 1 over 4px squared. Okay, that's my equation I want to use. Okay. What is P? P is going to be 3 fifths, right? P is going to be 3 fifths, the distance from the vertex to the directrix. So P, in this case, is 3 fifths, okay? P is 3 fifths. It's just the distance from the vertex to the directrix, okay? So let's plug that in. So I'm going to have Y equals negative 1, because it's upside down, 4 times, times 3 fifths X squared, okay? Okay, let's do a little fraction work on the side. I'm going to do my little fraction work down here. 4 times 3 fifths, right, is 12 twentieths, which reduces to divide by 4, divide by 4, and I get 3 fifths, right? Oh, no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. Which would be over 1, 5, 12. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite this as y equals negative 5 twelfths x squared. Okay. Now, this is a little bit hard, but we can, as long as we can do fractions, we can do it. Okay. Now, example two. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see it. Okay. There it is. So. And I made it negative because it's upside down, right? It's a frowny face. Okay? Now, let's jump up to number three, and we're going to graph it, okay? Let's graph it. All right? So, first of all, let's divide by negative two. Divide by negative two, okay? Okay? Okay, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and I'll have, put it on the side, I'll have y equals x squared over negative 2. Okay, you all right with that? Okay, um, so 4p, uh, this, you're not going to get this unless you pay attention. I need this to be 4p, okay? I need this to be 4p. So 4p is equal to negative 2, okay? That means p is equal to, divide by 4, divide by 4, negative 1 half, okay? I know the vertex is at 0, 0, right? Okay. p is, so that means I'm going to have a directrix here, And my parabola is going to go like this. Almost done. And the focus is going to be right there. Let's look at five, 4. 4 is a little bit harder, but we can do it. So bring over the 5x. Okay, am I going to look quick? Okay, I'll stop for a second. So this value has got to be 4p. So I set the negative 2 equal to 4p. So I know that this has to be 4p. That's what our formula says. That's 4p. So I set 4p equal to negative 2 and solve for p and got divide by 4, divide by 4, negative 1 half. So then the, from the vertex, 1 half, 1 half. I know it's upside down because of the negative, right? Okay. So my formula, Cody, let me show you my the formula. The formula should be y equals negative 1 over 4px squared. Okay, that's the equation I'm using. Okay, 
So that means this number, whatever this number is, is equal to 4p, okay? So my negative 2 is equal to 4p, right? So does the negative in the 1 fourth p cross over to the x squared and make it upside down? The negative does make it upside down. It's the negative here. that may, That's the negative right there that makes it upside down, okay? All right? So I needed to find p. So I set my negative 2 which is sitting right where 4p is, right? My negative 2 is sitting right where 4p is. Yeah, so I know that negative... So then I solve for p and I get negative 1 half. Yeah. And then I know I can go from the vertex, which I know the vertex is 0, 0. Agree? Go up a half, down a half. There's my directrix and there's my focus, okay? All right, let me do number 4. Okay, these aren't easy. So number 5, 4. Bring over the 5x. I got a 1 third y squared is equal to a 5x, okay? Okay. I'm going to divide, multiply by 3, multiply by 3, you got a y squared equals 15x, okay? Okay, now, we need, if it's y squared, let me flip the page, ready? If it's y squared, let me flip the page, if it's a y squared, it's going to be a sideways one, right? If it's y squared, it's going to be a sideways one. So I got to have x equals. Instead of y equals, I got to have x equals, okay? So if I divide by 15, divide by 15, I've got x equals y squared over 15, okay? Now, I probably have to do it here. 4p then is equal to 15, right? Because my 4p is supposed to be right there. My 4p is right there. So if I need to find p, I'll just divide by 4, divide by 4. p is 15 divided by 4, and what is that? 4 and 3 and 4, 3 and 3 fourths. So I know the vertex is at 0, 0. So then I'm going to go. And it is sideways. It's sideways. It's going to go sideways this way. So I'm going to go 2 and 3 and 3 fourths is about there. Back 2, 3 and 3 fourths about here. The directrix sits right here. The focus sits here. And the parabola looks like this. Okay, does anyone like, really understand this? Yeah. How about we do some of your homework together? Okay, we'll load up the computer and I'll help you with the I'll help you with it. Okay, this might be a two day. This might be a two day lesson, right? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. Thank you, and I'll help you with this.